Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shadavia and this is Oshi Budgets where we talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. Um, if you enjoy budgeting content like budget with me's, cash stuffing, savings challenges, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. By the title of today's video, you guys can see I am going to be sharing some savings challenges with you guys. Um, this is actually a part two from the first savings challenge video that I did. Um, so these are the savings challenges I'm going to be completing for the second half of the year. They are really good for low income budget. Um, I did also support some small shops with these, and then I've also created um, my very own savings challenges as well. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into these um, savings challenges for the second half of the year. So I shared this one in my um, first video. So this is a 30-day summer savings challenge. I'm actually going to be starting this one in the month of June. Um, I got this from Carrie J Budgets off of Etsy. Uh, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but I'm pretty sure it was less than $2 um, at the time. Um, but I got this one, and I believe at the end of the savings, um, I will have saved over $300. Um, so I'll be starting this one for the month of June. And then let's just go ahead and get to our next one. So the next savings challenge I have is by my girl Chris. Um, she's Chris Budgets on YouTube and Instagram, um, but her Etsy shop is actually Chris Prince it. Um, so this is a super cute, simple, straight to the point, um, back to school savings challenges, uh, savings challenge. And so each line on here is actually worth um, $50. So 50, 100, 150, and 200. And as Again, it'll be $200 at the end of the savings challenge. Now, I am doing this one in the month of July simply because my kids um, will be going back to school in August. And when I think of my savings challenges, I like to plan like a month ahead, right? So since my kids are starting school in August, then I should be prepared for that, you know, in July. Um, and so that's why I'm actually completing this challenge in the month of July. And then hopefully by that time, um, $200 will be enough. But if not, then at least I'll have a head start on, you know, whatever that total cost may come out to. Alrighty, so moving on to my next savings challenge. Um, so the next savings challenge I have is the $300 birthday savings challenge. And y'all look at it. It's so cute. Like... <laughs> It's so cute. Like when I look at this, I just simply get excited for my birthday. Now, my birthday is not until September, but like I just mentioned, I am going to be doing this um, challenge in the month of August to get a head start. And so this challenge is actually from uh, Docs on a Budget. So she's Docs on a Budget on Etsy, um, Instagram, and YouTube. So if you guys, again, enjoy budgeting content, make sure to give those two ladies a subscribe. They have wonderful content as well. And they created these awesome challenges that I'm going to be able to complete. Like I continuously say, I am currently on a low income budget. And so even with their savings challenges, like I feel like it's something that I can accomplish. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to that one. So this birthday savings is going to be strictly for me for my birthday which is in September, um, but I will be completing this challenge in the month of August to kind of give me a head start on that. So that's the challenge for August. And now we get to get into the savings challenges that I actually created um, myself, which I am proud of. And you guys have to give me some feedback in the comments. Like, do you think they're cute? Um, just any feedback, like, you know, anything that I could have did differently or do you think they're too plain or they're like straight to the point, which is what I like. So I created this one, uh, the Thanksgiving Savings Challenge for Thanksgiving. Surprise. <laughs> so this one is for Thanksgiving and this one actually has a total savings of $150. Now, this budget for Thanksgiving is going to be strictly for 
the food for Thanksgiving. Like if you cook dinner for Thanksgiving, then you know the food can get a little expensive. And especially now with the, you know, inflation and increasing uh, pricing of almost everything. So I do want to go ahead and get prepared for that. So I am doing this savings challenge um, in the month of September, which is a little head start from Thanksgiving. But also, like I said, if you cook, you know, dinner for the holidays, then you know, everyone likes to wait to the last minute. So I kind of want to get a head start on, you know, just making sure that I have everything that I need for my Thanksgiving dinner for my family and I. And so with that, I'm going to be saving $150. And then you see each feather here. I made them $20. The body is going to be $40. Um, the feet here is five each. And then we got our beak and whatever that thing is called. I don't know. Don't judge me. <laughs> but this is our Thanksgiving uh, savings challenge. Let me get, let me know uh, in the comments what you guys think of this one. And then I'll show you my um, last savings challenge that I'm actually planning on doing, which is going to carry us to October, um, which still leaves two months in the year. But I'll kind of elaborate a little bit more on that one. Um, so that's our Thanksgiving challenge that we're going to be doing. And then lastly, we have, uh, I also created this savings challenge. So this is Tis the Season, uh, which if you do not celebrate Christmas, uh, then you can just use it for the holiday gift exchange or however you and your family choose to celebrate. But uh, this is Tis the Season savings challenge. And so as you see here, we have nine gift boxes um, that we can color in for this savings challenge. At the end, we would have saved a total of $225, uh, which should be enough for me to do what I actually plan on doing this holiday season. Um, and so every time I get paid, which is on a bi-weekly basis, I'm thinking I'll just take like half and, or like almost half or a little under half and then color in each um, gift box so that at the end I can save $225. But I will be completing this challenge in the month of October. Um, again, just to get a head start on, you know, those, those items that I'm wanting to purchase. And, you know, holiday season gets really, really expensive. And I just don't want to go off budget, you know, just to get sucked in in that consumer mindset of, Oh, I have to buy everything. Um, so I just want to be prepared. Um, if I need those funds, then, you know, I'll have them ready available. Plus, I love doing savings challenges. Like, it makes it so much fun and motivating when you can actually, like, color in or, you know, mark your progress um, however you choose to do so. But for me, like, I like to see that progress and it just makes me feel good. Um, and so, like I said, we do have two months left in the year. Um, so I don't know for sure which savings challenges I'll be doing for November and December, but I am still doing my 100 envelope challenge. So I'm pretty sure I'll be doing that one, um, for the next few months. Hopefully, well, actually, I think what I may actually do is just focus strictly on that 100 envelope challenge for the month of November and December. Like that makes sense, right? Because I'm going to want to finish that. Um, I don't, I don't want to say I don't think I'm going to finish, but I don't know how likely I will be able to finish that. Um, but I'm going to try my hardest to kind of get that finished. That would be a nice way to end the year with a bang. And if not, then I won't beat myself up about it. But I'm going to do a quick flip through for you guys one last time so you can see the savings challenges. Um, so again, this one, this 30 day summer challenge is from Etsy, from Carrie J uh, Budgets. This one, which is the Back to School Savings Challenge, is from Chris Budgets, um, and she's Chris Princett on Etsy. And then this one is a Birthday Savings Challenges uh, Challenge by Docs on a Budget, which is the same on all platforms. This one uh, is our Thanksgiving Savings Challenge, which I actually created and then lastly, we have the Tista Season Savings Challenge, which is another one I created. 
so that is again is the savings challenges that i plan on completing for the second half of this year um if you're doing savings challenges as well let me know which ones you guys are taking on for the second half of the year but that is it for today's video thank you guys so so much for tuning in and i'll see you in my next one bye